In an abandoned building in Anniston, Alabama, healthcare workers are getting a crash course on treating Ebola patients in the hot zone. Pull them forward and away from you. This group of American doctors and nurses will soon head to the three countries in West Africa affected by the Ebola outbreak. Dr. Fukle will go to Liberia. He says the training he gets today will mean the difference between life and death. We saw you struggle a little bit as you took out. Yeah, some of your it's gear. not easy. It's not easy. And I'm, you know, that was a large size, and I'm not a large guy, but still, I could not get those coveralls over my shoulders without really touching the outside, which is the contaminated side. I was supposed to only touch the inside, which is the clean side, and I just couldn't do it. Um, so that's, you know, I'm going to practice again and again. The training is modeled after procedures used by doctors without borders. Three days of intense practice in dealing with drawing blood, cleaning vomit, and even patient burial. A lot of it is trying to limit the inevitable human error, says CDC trainer Dr. Patricia Griffin. The first thing you want to do is get rid of all that bulky gear, but you have to have the muscle memory of having done it before, of knowing that you can do it safely, and knowing that it has to take a little longer than you'd like it to, and you have someone there guiding you through it so that you stay calm and you just get it all off and then you walk, walk out knowing that you're safe. Dr. Lay thinks a lot about safety. With a wife and two-year-old child back at home in Northern California, he says he's anxious about his impending trip. But for him, his concern is outweighed by compassion. Whoever tells you that they're not anxious about going to Liberia and working you know, in an Ebola uh, 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 unit, I think would, is delusional. I'm very nervous. Uh, then why do it? Like I said, it goes back to this idea of you know, solidarity and, and equity. Um, it's kind of like if you're a firefighter and you've signed up to fight fires and there's a fire, well, you should go fight that fire. Nick Valencia, CNN, Aniston, Alabama.